Hello guys, and welcome. Now, it's time to start. It's time to start building the first creature for the year. First creature of the year. And this one is going to be a creature in from Point Pleasant. Point Pleasant. This is going to be that Mothman. Yes, we're going to have a Mothman. The creature is is very famous. Um, I've never read the book. I'm just going off on what I found on the Wikipedia for Mothman. Basically, it's this creature that's supposed to be some moth and this man looking thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But it says right here in West Virginia, the Mothman creature is poor and seen in Point Pleasant area. From November 12th, 1966 to December 15th, 1970. Not 70, but 67. Going down there. Going down there and the report in was published in the Point Pleasant Registry dated November 16, 1966. Tile couple sees man size bird creature something. The national press soon picked up the report and helped spread the story across the United States. The Mothman was introduced by wild audience by by Gary Barker in 1970 and later was popularized by John Kill in his 1975 book The Mothman Prophecy claiming that the supernatural events related to the sign and a connection to the collapse of the Silver Bridge. Keep going down. So yes. People have people saw a large creature with eyes glowed red when the car headlights picked it up. It was described as a large flying man with ten foot wings following their car. When they were driving in the area outside the town as the TNT area. A former site, a site for a former WW2 munition plant. So pretty most, pretty much going down to it. People, um, people seen this Mothman, but there's been. And today there is multiple versions of Mothman of what he would look like. I didn't come up with this character. This one was my sister's thinking. Since the Mothman is so dark, since the Mothman is dark, since the Mothman is dark, really, we have no idea what this thing is. 
So anyway, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the um, the project. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with it and try and make it into a, a character. Yes, kitties, what? Pretty much. Yeah. Might be a little bit more different than what they think, what they show. A little bit more different than what I show. This is the very first time that this creature was ever incorporated this project is going to incorporate animatronic wings. I've never done animatronic wings. I don't want to make it a long video like a couple of years ago when I did with the Wendigo. Frankly, pretty much Mothman is shown to be an interest. It may not be how people people um, do stuff here, but you know what? I think I'm going to take a stab at this character and try to show some show some some light on this creature. Now, this creature is going to be a short, a short thing. Not many videos. Because I still need to get into Nightmare Before Christmas. And more of those, more of the Nightmare Before Christmas project on, on the way. Just not just not um, ready to show them yet. They're a combination between artistry, mechanics, 3D printing. This yard might be possible this year. It's just an old fashioned Halloween. So, yeah. So let's get the build started for this creature. Shall we? So anyway, anyway, yeah. Let's get started here, huh? See you guys on the build. <laughs> 